I kind of started going to like parties and kind of got addicted to drugs and was just doing whatever I wanted to do. Kind of doing my will and not God's will. I overdosed on triple C's when I was 16 and then my mom sent me to Springboard, which was the girls version of Teen Challenge. I went to Springboard and I was so adamant on not going. I was like, mom, I hate it here. Like, I don't want to go. Like, why are you sending me? And I was so sad, I was heartbroken. I was like, I told her, I was like, I'm not gonna talk to you ever again. Like, I was so like, why are you doing this to me? I like didn't wanna learn about God. I didn't wanna do anything. I didn't wanna do any of that. And then um, I remember one night we were at youth group and one of the leaders was like, pray to God every night. And thank him for everything he's done for you. And um, only ask him for one thing and do this every night for one week at least. And then come back the next week and then um, see what like has changed in your life so I did it and the one thing that I asked him for was to like change my perspective on being there and I did it for a week and my whole perspective did change on being there he stripped me down he broke down my walls like he opened up my heart to him and it was just crazy like I started reading and getting in more to the bible and like everything was just more interesting to me and like intriguing me so when I went to springboard I learned how to listen to him and I was like, I want to hear from God, I want to hear from God, I want to hear from God, but you can't, la la la, I want to hear from God, I want to hear from God, you know? And so now that I believe in him and my faith in him is so much stronger, I get in these situations where, what do I do, what do I do? And it's come to me, give me your anxiety, like First Peter 5, 7, cast your anxieties on him. I remember when I overdosed, I was at school and I went into the nurse's office and I told her I was like, I just did something really bad. And when I was in springboard, I went to this fashion show and that nurse, that same nurse that was there was at that fashion show. And so I went up to her and she was like, of course, like I remember you, blah, blah, blah. And she like gave me a hug and she started praying with me. And that was just like a moment that I knew like God has always been there with me. So. I just encourage everyone, put your faith in God, you know, like, because I was always like hesitant, like, is God really like there, you know, you can't do that. You can't ask God to prove himself to you because you have to take that first step. You have to be the one to prove to God that you want that relationship with him because it's not a real, it's not a religion. It's a relationship to have with God, you know, there's a song, um, see a victory. I think it is. And it's, you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. The enemy wanted me to get into those drugs and have that relationship with drugs, but God took it and he put it into his relationship with him. Jesus has saved me from depression, addiction. My faith in him has brought my family together. Like our family at home is so much stronger now. I don't know, it's just a much happier environment. I was dancing with the devil and now I'm sitting with Jesus.